This is Niagara Falls, one of the natural wonders of the world, but also one of the most perilous places known to man. Many lives have been lost tackling these ferocious waters. 37 million gallons of water roar over this edge every minute with the power to decimate a two-ton truck like an accordion. It's a sight that conjures up all kinds of emotions in its visitors. Thrill, vertigo, danger. Imagine if you could soar above the rapids, dive deep into the mist, feel the rush. It's an experience thrill ride designers have accomplished. This is the next generation of high-tech thrill rides. Niagara's Fury is a brand new take on virtual reality. The goal was to create an experience of how the falls came to be. From the ice age to the modern day. The challenge, to build the world's first 360 degree seamless cinematic experience. To give it even more impact, they added Hollywood's latest special effects and built a high-tech motion simulator. One of the things that we asked the engineers to do is not make this just a ride where you put on some funny glasses and things come flying at you. We wanted really th real things flying at you. So we have water coming at you. We have uh, fog, lightning, high-tech sound. And it's this technology that creates the illusion. A lot of theme parks is essentially magic tricks. Designers and engineers worked around the clock, developing and testing technology to create a one-of-a-kind ride. No one has ever experienced the falls like this before. It's two days before the scheduled opening, and there's still a lot of work to be done. The attraction is already delayed by a week. Nerves are frayed. The pressure is on John Erickson, the technical director. The effects are malfunctioning. Each hour of delay costs Niagara Park's owners thousands of dollars, and they are already over budget. John has been here before. He has worked on some of the biggest movie rides, from the much-loved Terminator 2 3D to Men in Black, pushing technology to the max. They call it the bleeding edge instead of the leading edge for a reason. You know, anytime you get new technology, you always run into problems that you weren't expecting. And uh, that's, that's the biggest part of this task, is working through those problems. There are problems with the timings of the show. John needs more wind and fog. He's going to spend the day fine-tuning for maximum effect. Small last-minute hurdles in comparison to what they've overcome to get this far. Rides of this caliber cost up to $100 million. Niagara's Fury is the exception. It was built for a mere $7 million. It's been four years in development and 18 months in construction. We spent two years traveling the world, uh, looking at different applications, different products, from going on to a ride where they're using heat and saying, well, why can't we do that when we make it cold? And you get the thought process going, and that's the start of the creativity. The trick is to write a heart-pounding story with special effects to match. The biggest difference between this and movies is movies, you got to make it work maybe three times, and then you're done with it. This is supposed to run uh, 12 hours a day, seven days a week for 10 years. John and Joel called on Yaz Takata, a visual director who recently worked on Universal's The Simpsons Ride. They wanted riders to witness 18,000 years of geological history using mind-blowing visuals of how sheets of ice and land collided to carve out the falls. You know, the attraction is just it's kind of almost like trying to get in a time capsule. It's like jumping in a time machine. Animators built a 3D computer simulation to visualize how the technologies would integrate. Riders stand on a motion simulator in a circular theater, where rain, snow, and wind blast the audience from all directions. The most ambitious challenge was creating a seamless visual. Circular theaters create the illusion of being inside the picture. Up until now, distracting dividers interrupted the view. 
Now, there's been quite a few shows with a 360 projection, but usually they have scenes. But we wanted, since we wanted the, the idea was to put them into the, into the actual location, then we wanted to make sure it was a seamless attraction. Yaz and the team came up with a solution. They'd use digital cameras to manipulate the final product in the edit. They captured the majority of footage using a nine camera rig suspended from the bottom of a helicopter. These visuals transport the audience on an incredible journey into the falls. Visuals are one thing, but how do you give the rider a fully charged Niagara experience? Engineers came up with special effects to reach out and touch the audience. Blowers create conditions for the ice age. Different snow making recipes were tested. Bizarrely, soap did the best job. It creates small bubbles that look like snow, fall like snow, and evaporate before hitting the ground. Temperatures can also drop 35 degrees in just three seconds. It's the first time thrill ride designers have been able to control heat and cold in this way. It is cool. The audience is freezing, but what they don't know is that a massive thunderstorm is right around the corner. A highly powered sound system intensifies the atmosphere. This is the most realistic fake thunder you'll ever experience. Speakers produce low frequency vibrations below 20 hertz, sounds you can actually feel, the same sensation the body gets from the base of a loudspeaker. These are rotary subwoofers, and the way this works is these are industrial motors that spin at a, at a constant RPM. For the most part, you don't really hear it, but you feel it. The engineering team didn't stop there. They wanted to create a physical experience that terrified riders. A motion simulator creates a thunderous vibration through the body. Underneath this platform, we've also got a pneumatic shaker. When we do the lightning strike, and when that ground starts to charge, you just feel a whole vibration going through your body, and that's the idea. We just go, bzzz, bam! Pretty effective. This production has had its share of problems. Two days before opening, the team is ready to wrap. But director Yad wants to make Niagara's Fury even more thrilling. He needs extra close-up visuals to give the audience an enhanced experience. Flying over the falls is a highly dangerous operation, but this team are willing to go the extra mile. Going this close to the edge is a matter of life and death. Extremely careful piloting is required in Niagara's unforgiving microclimate. Coming up, the death-defying helicopter shoot. And a coaster designed for the toughest of riders. This Hellraiser really gets its riders fired up. <laughs> 